Patty Christensen here. In this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about my pinky. Which pinky? This pinky. Uh, this is me trying to bend. Okay. When all of this was going down, I would say that right here, if there's such a thing as an epicenter of CRPS, it was right here. It was this knuckle. It honestly felt like these bones were broken. Okay, which of course makes no sense because the carpal tunnel surgery, you can't even see it was there, it has nothing to do with that here. But this, it just felt so awful. And the um, occupational therapist I was seeing at the time, who no matter what, just steadfastly refused to accept CRPS. We'll, that, we'll do another video on that story. But anyway, I would say it feels broken. I know it's not but it literally feels broken. And so she said, oh, okay, well, we don't want you to have pain. So she wrapped it up, okay? Well, so what happened? Can you see that? It fused. No matter how much things hurt, and trust me, they don't call it CRPS for no reason, um, actually the moving it and then when you initially do it, oh, my, my sister said it feels like she's giving birth. It does. It feels like your joints are just giving. I mean, it's just so, so, so painful. But what I found is if I could just keep doing it, then it loosened up. Then it became a little more bearable. In fact, you know, that other person, well, you see what, what she did to me. When I finally got with a, a new doctor and I said, look, this is what I want to know. Um, pain is my body yelling at me. So... If I try to do things, can I damage myself? Am I going to hurt myself more if I try to do things? And he says, no, no, you're, that, that's not the worry. It's pain management. So I said, okay, but you're telling me I won't do permanent damage if I try to do some things. And he says, no, you won't. And so that's when, you know, I got my little hand robots and started small and slowly working my way in. And, and I can say, you know, when I first have to start doing it, it is severely, severely painful. But after a while of me just, you know, constantly moving it, um, it gets a lot better. So in my case, again, I'm not a doctor, yada, yada, disclaimer, disclaimer, this is America, people like to sue, blah, blah. Um, movement is key. Even if it hurts, it's key. Because there are times you think, well, if I just don't move, nothing hurts. Well, I would like to actually have a finger that bent. That'd be kind of cool. Same thing with my, my wrist flexion. Um, I'd like to be able to have wrists that can flex. Because that was the other place that she taped up to try to reduce pain. So... Uh, talk to your doctor, blah, blah, yada, yada, disclaimer, disclaimer. But in my case, movement, even when it hurts like the Dickens in the beginning, is the key to me being more comfortable after. So that morning movement, just getting all those crunchy things out, makes it to where I can do more things. Thanks.